If I have one thing to say about this wall, it works. It works very well. <laughs> Look at this! It's a massacre. And think all those guys would have been in my base, eating my turrets and just doing bad things. But this wall has stopped them. And they attack from up here as well? Where else have they attacked from? It's like from everywhere except up here. And it's happening again! Wait, up there. Right here? the heck? Well, anyway, guys, um, welcome back to the next episode of Factorio. Sorry, I got off to a bit of a rocky start there, but, uh, honestly, I was just about to start my recorder, and then I saw this, and I was like, what the heck happened here? <laughs> it's just, just a massacre. It's like, insanity. I don't know why they hate me so much. What did I even do? I mean, besides fill the entire world with pollution, but besides that, I mean, besides that. Anyway, guys, I have, um, I've kept these up and running, as you can see. I'm making a lot of potions now. Haven't really been keeping up with this. Been kind of low on the iron. Um, however, I have finished the wall. The wall has been finished. I'm not Donald Trump, so I feel a hundred times better automatically at the start of this episode. Let me show you what I had to do. Do you see this wall up here? This, this one right here. Oh, there's like a turret every few inches or so. Um, and honestly, if you think about it, if I didn't have a turret like in this kind of frequency, these guys might have broken through the wall. But, <laughs> but this is what I had to do around my entire base. Up there, through there, and then over there. And right there I have like a million um, uh, radar stations. So I can map out all of this place. Which, you know, I decided it looks really funny. It kind of looks like a little kid with some sort of disease. If he was green from the start and then the disease was like bright red. That's what it looks like. And I don't know why, but it just does. <laughs> As you can see, the ores in this world are not, not very frequent. Um, there is just like one copper down here and then nothing else. <laughs> Usually this entire place would just be filled with ores and aliens of course not in this number. This is an insane number and uh, ooh, it looks like there's a desert over there. Anyway, um, so yeah that's what I've been up to recently. Each one of these little blue dots is a turret which I still have like these to fill with ammo. I think like these right here. Um, my ammo making machine has just been running like 24 hours a day making more ammunition and it's been working quite nicely must say looks like it's out of iron again but I'm gonna go use this iron to fill up some of those turrets and I'll just show you what the wall looks like from down there oh and before I do that I just wanted to show you the uh, these radars they're taking up like <laughs> 5.6 megawatts everything else is taking about like under a thousand kilowatts besides the mining drills um, so because they're taking so much more power I had to vastly expand my power supply my p power quota and by that I mean vastly expand it <laughs> we got a few more things over there going off of this good old lake I wonder if this lake is gonna run out of water anytime soon I don't think so that would be cool if it was infinite. If it's not, I'm going to hate myself. Not really myself, just the game, mostly. <laughs> anyway. Wall is just this way. There it is. The giant wall of turrets and these uh, bigger electric power poles, because I did finish researching them, and uh, as you can see, they look pretty cool. Um, they've got a very big range, and I'm using them kind of... I mean, I could be just using these and it would tr work just as well. But in my older worlds, uh, I had these spaced out really far because it wasn't amplified. You only need like one or two turrets every <laughs> mile or so. Not really mile, of course. Just You didn't need them as close as this. 
Of course you do for this world because it's so darn dangerous. Will I have enough ammo? Perfect. Just enough ammo for myself and all my turrets. And here's the big, big, just horde of um, radars that I have going. Used to be up at my base, but then I realized they only have such a big range, so I put them down here so they could get even more. I wonder if there's boats in this game. Also, uh, if you want to know why these red dots are here now, apparently the radars need to, like, see them. Like, they scanned over this line uh, twice, and then they saw them the second time, so I don't know if they spawned there or if they were always there, but in any case, I'm pretty sure those have been the ones that were attacking my wall because of this pollution. Which is unfortunate. It means we have two more enemies to deal with. I'm just glad they don't go up here and are like, hey guys, come down here. And then I'll just be dead in two seconds. But yeah, I really wish they would add boats. As you can see, it's already getting more land. Not very important, but they look cool when they're all together and um, you know just seeing the land in this game how vast it is of course you can go forever in this direction <laughs> I don't know how I'm ever going to do that with that many aliens unless you guys tell me some magical way that I can just automatically defeat them all then yeah I'm pretty much stuck where I am Anyway, there's lots to be researched, and I can do it here because of the amount of blue potions I have on me right now. Um, so, I'm not really sure what exactly... What the heck? Did just duplicate his own? God, I hate the item stacking in this game. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not sure what exactly I want. I'm pretty sure I want this. But I don't know where to find oil. I have my suspicions that these oh my god um <laughs> these little pink dots up here are oil but I'm not sure they could be those little things that were hanging out uh, in the first world do you remember those worms that you could only see when you're right next to one of these camps I'm pretty sure they're either worms or oil um, I don't see any other markers that might signify oil um, unless oil is just like extremely rare like diamonds in Minecraft which I don't really want to accept because to make blue potions you do need oil so I'm gonna hope those little pink dots up there <laughs> are oil and not worms because that that would be dreadful and I will research oil processing it shouldn't take too long because of the excessive amount of labs. I don't really want to put any more. I mean, it would technically make it go faster, but I mean, the effort it takes to like, fill each one of these with potions, make sure they have an equal amount. In this game, it's a lot harder than Minecraft, so I think it's just good as it is. So, um, while I'm waiting for that, I might as well start the trek up to those pink dots. What I want to do on this trek is not just walk up there because if the radar scans these and I couldn't see them before there could be like a few over here like many over here I don't know why they've been able to see these ones and only see these ones like um a minute ago but oh Jesus Christ please tell me you've got that turrets oh my god <laughs> wow that looks like the reason why the walls have been just oh my god and that that came out of those two dots guys those two dots that is insane anyway um i'm going to build a wall up here and around here because if that is oil i'm going to need a lot of it and i want to mass produce it i'm just worried i want to build a wall around myself and turrets because if these guys are coming down here to attack, they could just get angry, see me, and just go... So, I want to make sure I have a lot of protection with me. Which, of course, means more turrets. I believe I have extras in this chest of stuff I did not use. Yes, I do. 
Then I'll just make some more of these, make some more of these, and a lot more of this. Oh, drat, I knew it! There's... God, why can't I press E? There we go. Look at this. This is just... I feel like their attacks are increasing in just destructiveness at this rate. At least it doesn't take barely anything to repair these walls. It's like they hardly even touch them, but still... Jeez, that is harsh, man. Okay, guys, the all holy trek for oil or worms is going to begin. And yes, that's going to be the title of this episode because that sounds hilarious. Um, I want to position myself so that the wall gets perfectly around it, or at least doesn't go through it, because that would be annoying. Oh, there's coal there. I wonder if I should make could go around the coal as well. No, I feel like that's too much. Yeah, I don't want to take too much. I can partly harvest it. Besides, I don't really need any more coal. Okay. Time to begin. Got a lot of ammo on me. <sighs> so this is going to be the width of it, I believe. As you can see, these carry for a long, long time. Like, if I was to remove this... Yeah, that carries for ages. Okay. Move this and start placing walls. Praying to the all holy lords I don't get attacked. Uh, pray for me, guys. Oh my god. Could get attacked at any moment. I don't like this. Put that there. You know, for a human, actually, I am amazingly strong. I mean, think about it. I am carrying 48 of these in, like, my backpack or something. Even the materials to make that, if I was just making it on the spot, like, instantaneously, at the speed of light, that's still extremely impressive. Okay, I want to give myself a lot of room, because I've only pumped oil once in this game. I seem to remember it requires a bit of space. I'm going to give myself a respectable amount of room. And actually, now that I think about it, oh yay! Now that I think about it, this is going to take quite a while, so I'm going to bring you guys back if I A, die, or B, make it to the um, oil or worms. Ah, darn these trees! Ah, there has to be an easier way to do this. Oh dear. Looks like two are coming. Don't think they can decide- oh, maybe they're getting trapped in the forest. Only two, though. An attack of only two. Anyway, guys, I'm close enough to, um... Yeah, yeah, two, of course. I'm close enough to see that I'm moving. Which is worrying. It's worrying, because... Uh, I'm gonna have to cut through forest, and as soon as these start running, I have to get back to my safety of the turrets. If you remember, one turret could not handle a hive of three. This is a hive of four, possibly seven, in case they call reinforcements. So I am very worried. One mishap on my behalf could be the end of me. So this is a very slow walk. I'm probably not going to finish it in this episode. I'll try to get as far as I can with it, but I need to keep my eye on that map. And this is actually the most tense part, so I might just keep you guys here. I think one sees me. <laughs> yeah, one's definitely looking at me. Uh, gotta keep an eye on that one, then. If he moves to go get the others, then... I need to be careful. If I can see them from here. Oh, I can! Look at them up there! Right there, yeah. Ooh. I don't like the thought of that. I wonder if I can put this away. Spitter spawner. And... Oh god, it's getting so dark I can't see. Just spitter spawner. A spitter. It must just be its name. Okay. Ah, oh, you know what? I should put some lights up. You guys won't be able to see otherwise. There we go. Lights for all. And yes, I haven't put ammo in these turrets because they're not very... So long as I have at least two ammoed up, pretty sure I should be fine. Famous last words, but I don't want to waste any ammunition. 
Not like I can't just take it out of some, but I mean it would be bothersome, and I'm a bit too lazy, so there's always that. Uh, oh, I'm in the way. Put that there. Put that there. Get my walls out. Continue making. Thank God that guy is. Oh, he might still be looking at me. <laughs> or maybe he got someone else to do it. Wait, am I over the coal? I heard. Yes, I'm over the coal. Okay, those little pink dots should be just over there then. Okay, I don't need to make this wall much further. I'm also going to ammo up these. I feel like the end is coming very soon. Okay, more walls. God, I hate dying in this game. It's so terrifying. Almost as terrifying as Minecraft. Actually, probably more so, because in Minecraft, if you die, it's like, oh well. You died, just respawn. Okay, where am I now? Just a little bit further. Oh my god. At least it's daytime again. This is terrifying, guys. I don't like it one bit. Wish I had a friend that could just be constantly looking at the map for me, but I need to focus on building this wall and the map at the same time. Oh, just some more attacks from over there. That was a pretty big one, but I think they got it covered. Yeah, it looks like it. Those are big waves, though. Okay. Yes, I'm over it. Okay, I bet I can start going this way now. Oh wow, this is okay, more than I thought. Um, where's my wall? There it is. Do -do -do -do. Okay, start going this way. Yes, now I can breathe. If they haven't seen me yet, then they probably won't see me now, so. Whew. Well, I'm gonna end the off the episode here. Um, if anything happens, I'll bring you guys back, but. I don't think it will, so I will see you in the next episode. Wait a minute. If if the oil is there, and I need lots of space to harvest... Oh my god. <laughs>